Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another episode of our Extreme Makeover My Team Edition, in which I put out a tweet. You guys reply to that tweet, and you guys have a chance to get your squad featured on each week's episode. Now, I was going to put this video out yesterday. I got kind of bogged down with stuff yesterday. Yesterday was an extremely busy day for me. So I wasn't actually able to record this and release this video yesterday. So you guys are seeing it today. So, so I, I, I want to first off apologize for that and the fact that I couldn't get this out for you guys yesterday. But before we dive into each and every one of these squads, if you are new to my channel and haven't yet, please smash that subscribe button as we are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Looking at this first squad here, that was sent in by Showtime on Twitter. It says he has around 50, 60K to work with. His big question is, should I sell my team and get a guy like T-Mac or Anthony? davis or should i build with what i have now it's an intriguing question because i mean if he sold lonzo if he sold ak if he sold kenya martin dino guys like that he could probably save up to get an anthony davis and the thing with that is we have a good enough we have good enough budget players in nba 2k21 that you could build a decent team around that but more than anything i would just suggest upgrading uh not necessarily in one position right so like the difference between a guy like let's say a, a terry dishinger or even a, a rudy fernandez in t-mac it's big but i don't think it's it's like game breaking right so if you if you mess up your whole squad and then pick up tracy what happens if you don't end up liking tracy you know so it's just kind of hard for me to tell you to do that but honestly what i would personally do with this squad here is the big the big thing that i see right is i don't love your backup shooting guard and you even said that in your thing you're looking for a better backup shooting guard now i know in my no money spent squad series i'm still running rudy fernandez now that's a guard that's a card that i personally like quite a bit uh, in rudy fernandez and i'll probably always you know like rudy fernandez as a card so that's somewhere i would go i think he's just that little bit better uh than a kobe bryant and you're not spending that much mt if you can get a badged up rudy he's fairly cheap and like i said he's really carried my no money spent series squad so picking up him definitely helps i like lonzo i like wade terry rudy marion ak jameson kenya martin that's all fine and then dino and caleb the next position that i think you need to focus on is the center position so maybe your next upgrade from here is hakeem right not necessarily ad but maybe hakeem for a guy like dino you can go a long ways with this current squad this next squad was sent in by my guy jay on twitter it says he has 800,000 mt to work with and he is current gen so Similar to the last squad I did, I still think the biggest downfall of this particular squad, I, I see two big ones. The point guard position is a position in this squad, which I don't really love. And obviously the center position starting Kevin Love needs to change because Kevin Love, right? He is knocked out in the pick and pop, but on, on I, I promise you on defense, he is going to get fried like a piece of bacon. So with this squad here, you what I might do, Russ is fine because he is a reward card. I don't love Russell Westbrook. I'll be the first person to say it. I don't love him. Uh, even with Steph Curry, if you want to ball on a budget instead, you could pick up Evo Smush Parker. Just an idea for you. We'll get to later. We'll get to squads later on in the video that are really balling on a budget. But your one through three positions are fine. If you want to keep those in place, go ahead, do your thing, because those aren't needed, right? If you want to really, if it, the biggest upgrade I would maybe do is putting lines of ball in here for Steph Curry. And that's the biggest upgrade I personally would do because Steph Curry, you can still maximize his MT. Terry Jack's fine, Kawhi Rudy, I, I'm fine with all of that. Now, the one thing I will say uh, is Giannis Anton, great. Personally, for me, if I was to use your 800K, this is the way I would use it. That, I, and I'm going to be completely honest with you, is just upgrading your center position. Now, if you don't want to use all of your MT, just pick up Hakeem. Keep Kevin Love, keep Wayne Embry, whichever of those you prefer. For me, I'd probably prefer Wayne just a little bit more. But then just add one of these guys. I think AD is a little bit better than Hakeem, but you're definitely going to pay the price. Even if you want to just plug in Hakeem here, keep Love, keep Wayne and Embry, whichever one you prefer here at the backup center position, I think you'll have a lot of success. This next squad here was sent in by my guy Merrill on Twitter. Says he has no money spent. He is current gen. Both Kenrich Williams and Jared Solinger are evoed. And he has 30,000 MT to work with. Which, 30,000 MT. And honestly, that's plenty of MT. Like, I promise you, when I say that's plenty of MT, believe it. Because you can do a lot with that amount of MT. You really, truly can. So, there's, there's, some, there's some guys that within this squad that I personally think would make this squad a lot better. Now, the problem is I see a lot a lot of bigs in this lineup. I'm not going to sit here and lie. I see a lot of big men, 
within this lineup. But that's not going to sit here and, and stop me from, from what I think you should personally do. So the first thing I would do is I would sell Oscar for Smush Parker. Now that's the first thing. Get it evoed up Smush Parker. You're going to save a little bit of MT. And I think Smush Parker can... Look, I'm not going to sit here and say he's probably better than Oscar. But Smush Parker is incredible. That's what I can say. And if you are no money spent... It's just going to help your MT, uh, help you as far as an MT standpoint. JR Norman Powell, those are fine players at this at the shooting guard position. Small forwards, I don't love Nicholas Batum. I don't love him. And so I think you personally will find more success with Kyle Anderson. I know I have when I've ran Kyle Anderson. And I think you definitely will too. Now, Kyle Anderson is another one of those Evo players, but he is absolutely incredible on both ends of the court. I run Anderson at the four. But if you find success with him at the small forward position, that is fine with me. Now, the one thing I will say about running Kevin Love at the power forward position with Mo Bamba is Mo Bamba is athletic enough that I think you can probably make that work. So if you're having success with that, that's fine. Sabonis so is good. Solinger Evo is fine as well. So I really don't have any other suggestions outside of that. Now, if you want to swap some pieces around, right, move Anderson in there for Solinger, sell so Solinger, and just move some pieces around, go ahead and do your thing. But there's no right answer for a squad like this. The one thing I would say is try to add Smush Parker and Kyle Anderson into your lineup. This next squad here is set in by my guy Matt. Has 175,000 MT to work with. He is current gen. And honestly, he said he is no money spent as well. So there's a lot to like about his squad. Okay, Stockton, Petrie. Both point guards are fine. Now, the tough part is, do I think both of them budget-wise are as good as a guy like Smush Parker? No. But I'm fine. I'm not going to touch your point guards because obviously if you're running stock and you're having success with him and that's fine. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you have to run the exact lineup as me. So that's fine. We can change up some other positions. J.R. Smith, Eddie Jones. I'm not going to sit here and say I hate it. I will sit here and say I don't love it. I, I, look, I, I don't love J.R. Smith for his specific price. Now, the, the reason I say that is because he is an Inferno player. Maybe let me let me get a little price update on it because I haven't really checked since Super Packs. But okay, he's not that bad. He's still 30K. Uh, and I think there's plenty of better options for 30K. But we'll get into that uh, here in a second. Other than that, Danny Granger, Wally Zerbiak, great cards right there. Tuan and Kenya Martin. Again, if you, a lot of people are liking that Kenya Martin. If you're having success with him, do your thing. Kevin Love, a popular card that you guys are going to see today. Obviously, if you haven't, if you can't tell by now, you're going to see a lot of Kevin Loves today. And you also got the triple threat offline reward, Wayne Embry. One thing I would try to do is move Danny Granger to the starting shooting guard position. And, and the reason I say that is because I personally much prefer an Andre Kirilenko to a J.R. Smith. Now, here's the reason I say that. If you have Stockton, you have Granger, and you have J.R. Smith, as well as Anton Jameson, you have plenty of scoring, plenty of shooting. Adding a good defender and AK to that starting lineup, I think, is going to make your make you have a lot more success. Try to get an AK badged up, and, and you can sell your JR. And honestly, MT-wise, you might lose a little bit getting a badged up AK, but I think you will notice a great difference in success. Honestly, if you want to keep JR over Eddie Jones and move JR to the back of two and sell Eddie Jones, you can go ahead and do your thing. It just depends on what you're looking for. Again, if you want to change your point guards up, pick up Smush Parker for either one of your point guards, save a little bit of MT, you can do that. But honestly, on your bench, the only thing I would I would say is Kenya Martin is very expensive uh, for his specific value. I, I, I will say that forever. Is he a good player? Yes, but he is very, very pricey. But if you're having success with Kenyon, you can leave your bench exactly the way it is. The only suggestion I have is adding AK-47. This next squad here was sent in by my guy Dylan on Twitter. Says he sold his team, uh, or at least his bench, and has 800k MT to work with. As you guys can see, basically every one of these cards is a reward card outside of AK-47. So where would you go if you had 800k on current gen to build your squad? Is basically what he asked me. The first thing I'm going to say is obviously this is a typical answer at the starting point guard position i'm picking up lonzo ball every day of the week legitimately there's no question about it lonzo ball in my opinion is the best point guard in the game on current gen and i don't even think it's particularly close right now at least so after you pick up zoe what i would do next move cam reddish here and if you have the mt to work with this is what i'm doing add galaxy opal mj to your squad i'm telling you as far as auctionable shooting guards are concerned you'd be hard pressed to find one to michael jordan's level from here on out, it's pretty easy for me. I'm not going to use all of your MT. Now, if I wanted to, I would add Giannis, add Anthony Davis. But I think this for its specific value is a lot better. Now, with this, obviously, I would start Giannis, move AK to your bench just as far as floor spacing purposes. But this is really the lineup I would rock out with if I was you. 
add Zoe, add MJ, add Giannis, add Hakeem, and you will be moving and grooving. It actually amazes me to see how many people are still on current gen. Another current gen guy, Andre, says he has 150k MT to work with, says he kind of wants to save up for season five. So here's my thing. If you want to save up for season five, there's one guy I already see that I would personally sell, and that's Chris Boucher. I mean, this card goes for 60,000 MT and is by far your most expensive player. So if you want to get ready for season five, I've asked the first guy I would sell uh, and just check him off the list. Now, I'm fine with keeping keeping E. I'm fine with Smush, Kobe, Twan, uh, the power forward position. We'll, we'll work on that here in a second. And it's, it's not hard for me to work on. It's not hard at all. Plug in Kyle Anderson and you're going to have a lot of success. I like Scalabrini. I thought about him, but he's already in the squad. So plug in Kyle Anderson, E, Bonga, Reddish, Wally, Scalabrini, Mo Bamba, and Kevin Love. Now, the difference between Mo Bamba and Kevin Love, you got one defensive player that's going to block a lot of shots, serviceable on the offensive end, and then you got one of, one of the best offensive centers in the game in Kevin Love, but might hurt you a little bit on defense. I prefer running Mo Bamba, but I'll leave that up to you and leave them both in this squad, and this is the squad I would rock out with. The last squad for today was sent in by my guy Rockets on Twitter. says he is on Next Gen. We're going to end with the Next Gen squad. And he has 750,000 MT to work with. So that's a lot of MT to work with. But my thing is this, right? If you're next gen, Jeremy Lin, Kawhi, both those guys are, are incredible on next gen. Terry's incredible, Kenya Martin, and Hakeem. Starting lineup is absolutely incredible. But then you go down to his bench, and not to say his bench is terrible, but no doubt about it. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. His bench can definitely use some work. And, and the thing about his bench is I feel like for on next gen specifically, you kind of have to upgrade one piece at a time. For example, Kevin Love, right? The center position. Where's the next bit? Where's the next big upgrade after Hakeem Olajuwon? Yeah, you can add Dino. He's going to be an upgrade. Yeah, you can go with this guy, that guy. But I think until we see more centers, the next huge upgrade is Anthony Davis. And that's going to cost you a lot of MT. And then you have to the power forward position. A guy that I don't think is going to break your bank that I love on next gen is Giannis Antetokounmpo. So that's the first easy addition that I think I would make to your squad. Davis is fine on next gen. Uh, Cam Reddish is fine. Jameson's fine. Giannis is fine. And then the next big thing is at the center position. If you want to use all your MT, add AD, add Giannis, and go do your thing. Because if you add these two guys, I don't, I don't really see any really flaws in your squad. Especially if you are on next gen. But that is going to be the last squad that I covered today in this video. If you didn't see your squad and you want your some lineup suggestions, hey man, I do this every single week. Basically once a week. It's kind of on random days. I used to do it on the weekend. Now it's just kind of random because 2K gives me content pretty randomly. So uh, that is going to wrap it up. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Comment your squads down below if you do want some other people or myself. I'll prob probably give a few comments, uh, some more suggestions. But drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys and have a blessed day.